And this is Phil from W2LA.net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, configure, and use Mumble, which is an open source, low latency audio server. And we're going to be using that with the PCR1000 web controlled radio, since there'll be less of a delay between that and the MP3 stream. So, well, there'll be two ways to download. Uh, and get links for the Mumble program on the website. The first one will be under the premium content and you'll go down to web controlled radio and this will bring you up to the typical uh, web controlled uh, setup that we've had existing but at the bottom will be a new uh, link called installing Mumble and when you go ahead and you click on that that will give you a brief introduction uh, as to what Mumble is um, why we're using it and then uh, additionally how to get it here. Uh, if you uh, would rather we also have another one under the listen live link when you come down to web control radio we still have the mp3 link and we'll, we will leave that up for now uh, but we do recommend that you use mumble if you have mumble you'll click here and it'll actually start mumble automatically for you or you click down and I need mumble and again that will take you right back to this page right here. So let's say we're already on the mumble page we're gonna come down and we're gonna click on the link to download mumble and this will take us to the main mumble web page which is hosted on forceforge.net mumble will run on windows OS X and under Linux so being that I'm working on a windows computer uh, we'll go ahead and download the latest stable release which is 1.2.3 at the time of this video and if uh, you are uh, interested there is uh, their own installation documents here FAQ and uh, some upcoming features so let's go ahead we'll go and we'll download the uh, current version of uh, mumble so we'll go we'll download and we'll save the file if it doesn't start automatically uh, you can click up at the top and download mumble Okay, so now we have Mumble downloaded. Let's go ahead and we'll double click on the installation file. Now keep in mind you will need to have administrative rights on your computer to uh to properly install Mumble. So we're gonna go ahead and click right, keep the licensing agreement, hit next. We're gonna be installing the Mumble client and the backwards compatible client. There is no need to install Murmur on your computer. So leave this as a default setting of X. And we'll go ahead and we're going to install it in the default location of Program Files Mumble. Click on Next. And again, to install it, you will need to have administrative rights. So as you can see, the installation process is pretty simple. So let's go ahead and we'll click on Start Mumble and uh, finish to launch the program. Okay, so now that Mumble is installed in the computer, uh, mine is automatically set up to connect to the last server it was connected to, which uh, you can see is the PCR remote. Uh, before we go ahead and uh, show you how the program operates, let's go ahead and we'll go through and configure the server. So let me go ahead here and disconnect. And we're going to go through the configuration. So we'll go right here and through settings. And I've gone and clicked on the advanced setting uh, on my screen, which is down here in the corner. The audio input, we've picked the default device. I set it to push to talk for the transmit. This way it's not uh, a hot mic all the time. Uh, you'll go ahead and you'll play with the uh, compression and the processing if you need to. The output would again be your default speakers you'll go ahead and you'll tweak these settings based on your computer and your computer's speed uh... these will all be uh... set up for you um, when we go through the wizard which i'll show you next here you can change the user interface you can add uh... shortcut keys i've changed the push to talk to be a uh... A shift number six which is the carrot symbol uh... which isn't really a symbol that you use uh... often on your computer at least i don't under the network setting, I've gone and checked off uh, reconnect automatically. I've enabled that, and also uh, reconnect uh, on on startup. 
And the rest of this uh, we can just leave alone. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. Uh, we'll go through the audio wizard. Uh, this is, um, you'll be able to hear yourself come back to you when you set it up. Is There is a loop on it. Uh, it's an easy wizard to go, uh, to go through. So again, we're picking our uh, default device and uh, also our uh, default speakers. This here is, uh, you should be able to hear the audio talking back to you uh, with the internal program. You'll adjust the delay left and right uh, until you have a choppy audio and then you'll fine tune it again. This screen here shows my my microphone, how hot the mic is. You're going to probably leave this uh, alone. Again, we set the push to talk to be a shift six. Uh, I've gone with the balance settings here and disable text to speech because I just find it drives me nuts. And I've unchecked to submit anonymous statistics to the mobile project. All right, now we'll go ahead and we'll set up a server. I have two servers set up here. One is if I'm outside of my firewall and one's if I'm inside the firewall. Uh, this is not on the public internet, so what you'll do is you'll have to go and click on Add New. Okay, so this is the uh, W2LA.net server. You can label it whatever you want to label it. I've labeled it uh, for obvious reasons, W2LA.net. The address is remote w2lie.net. The port is the standard default port for Mumble, and my username is w2lie because that is my login name on my website. So if you had a different name, you would place that in here. And we'll go ahead and click OK. So if you can hit the live server, you'll start seeing it pinging and how many users are connected to it. Uh, being that I'm on a local setup here at my house, I can only ping my local server. So let's go ahead now and we'll connect to Mumble. So here we are, we've connected to the server. You get a little welcome screen in here. You can hit a chat and talk to other users. And uh, this PCR remote is the actual radio itself, the audio from the radio. If you clicked on the C, you can see that this is the PCR remote and it's been granted uh, the proper rights. I am down here, I am W2LIE on the server. I am muted up here. I am also muted on the server. And I'm also what they call deaf, which is I've muted the audio in both directions. So let me go ahead here and unmute the self and I have red lips now on the PC remote, which tells me that the audio is being transmitted over the net and I should be receiving it at this time. And that is really all there is to using the mumble with PCR remote. Okay, so before I close the video, let's take a quick tour of uh, some of the icons on mumble. Uh, this is where we have the, uh, the servers and the connection dialog. So as you can see, I have both the uh, local and my remote feed. Uh, you can get some information on the uh, server itself. This would be how you would mute yourself. Again, you are muted on the server, so there should be no worries about uh, other people hearing you over the net. If you wish to mute the live feed for any reason, you can click on the headphones. Clicking the recording button will record what you're hearing on the, uh, on the Mumble server. Hitting the C, you can change a comment about yourself, and that will bring up a little C over here. As you can see, the uh, comment right now on the remote is the remote, uh, what the radio is. And then finally, uh, this is again how to configure Mumble, which is the same as what's up here. So again, if you don't, um, to launch Mumble, you'll find it under your start program file under Mumble. Or again, you can always go onto the w2le.net website. And you can click on the uh, Listen Live menu. And then come down to Web Radio. Come down to Mumble. And you click I Have Mumble. And it will automatically uh, ask you what you want to load it with. Remember your choices for Mumble. Again, I'm using Firefox. Click OK. 
and Mumble should launch and connect to the server automatically. So I know I was rather quick, but that is how you uh, connect to the W2LIE.net Mumble server. Uh, we hope that you enjoy using it with the PCR remote, and uh, we do uh, look forward to any feedback you may have. This is W2LIE wishing you 73.